not quite custom fit. We have the capability to do that. But what we're what this design does is essentially a, a kind of a macro and a micro sizing. So we have different sizes of elements that we can swap out, a medium, large, and small, if you will, <clears throat> for different components. But then within each of those sizes, we also have an adjustability to where we can really tailor the suit to someone's, you know, the length of their leg or the length of their arm or things like that. So we have a lot of sizing capability to adjust the suit for, for their particular body. So we've put a lot of effort into the sizing of this suit and paying attention to how we design different um, different joints uh, in the suit to accommodate anybody, um, first percentile female to 99th percentile male. There's kind of two parts to that. There's there's getting the size to where they can perform a range of motion for, for a given task. And then the second part is making sure that when they perform that range of motion, it's done in an easy way. It's not very hard where you're fighting the suit and that type of thing. So we have a variety of test subjects at Axiom that we put in the suit. Um, lots, of, lots of people who have been in the suit for for a long time, tested many different prototype spacesuits. Um, we also put crew members in the suit to test this, and so we'll, we'll, we'll basically take a lot of different test subjects and crew members, put them in the suit, evaluate designs, and, and refine them to make sure that it, the suit performs well for, for any individual who's gonna get, in, get inside the suit. any um, experiments that you're doing, um, even moving around, picking up random objects is difficult if it, it's not suited for you. And that can put your life at risk because this is literally what's keeping you alive. Mm -hmm. 